Boys and girls, the Moon Raker is in the wrong business. It is sweaty as hell in San Antonio, Texas. But uh, I'll let you know what that's about in a few seconds. Uh, somebody roll the music. I swear to you, I am melting. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what it means. And if you can hear in the background, I've got like two fans going on right now. It is so damn hot in San Antonio. And why is it hot? You say, Moonraker, why is it so hot? I mean, no one's really talking about the fucking heat wave. Yeah, it's because uh, the air conditioner is out in Casa de Moonraker. Yeah, can you believe that? I mean, dude. Does Joe Rogan go through this? I mean, really? Do the folks on Coast to Coast have badass air conditioning? I don't even know. It's it's so damn hot. Every word that I say brings down another drop of sweat. It's a little bit salty, and I kind of like it, but it's disgusting. I shouldn't be on here drinking my own sweat. But on the back end of this, I, I want to say congratulations to Bug the UFO Hunter. He actually did a lot better today. He's feeling better. He's getting back to his old ways. Eventually, he'll be like Buck Rogers chasing down aliens. But the funny thing is, is now that it is hot as fuck today, he's walking around. And here is for you people who like nature shows, who like uh, watching like uh, videos about Africa, the Serengeti. Uh, You know those videos where you see the cheetah, he's about to catch some whack-ass buffalo or something in the wild. And they do that that thing where their mouth is open and they look like they're grinning and they're they're showing all their teeth. But they look like they're sorry as hell. That's what Bugs is doing right now. He's he's doing that that cheetah look. Like that. Like he's he's trying to kind of run that air through his body and back out his mouth. Sorry, buddy. Like, I know you were just sick, but shit, you need to run that cheetah groove. Find a way to cool yourself down and then uh, talk to me tomorrow. I- I'm literally, I am sweating. I feel like I'm in a hot sauna. I'm doing hot yoga right now, trying to do a podcast. And I don't know if you can hear it, because this, fun- uh, this fancy-ass mic might not let you hear all the fans that are running in the background. So, yeah, just just know, I feel like I'm being tested for aerodynamics right now. Like I'm the new CA Corvette. So I'm always checking to see if I can cut through the air. Fucking hot air is what it is. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to check out UFO Buster Radio on Facebook. The Facebook page is Manny, Ru- <laughs> Manny Melted Fucking Moonraker. And uh, UFO Buster Radio at the... Uh, woo. Have mercy on my soul. And uh, at the Twitters, at UFO Buster Radio, Keatstroke. And then on Instagram, at Manny Moonraker, he's fucking dead. He died at 115 degrees. Yeah, that's what this podcast is going to be like. So you guys, strap yourself in. And I know you're sitting cool and pretty wherever the fuck you're at. Because your AC is working. But damn, this shit sucks. Yeah, exactly. And for you guys who don't believe that I'm a blue-collar type of person, yeah, these are blue-collar problems. Yeah, these are the problems that people who are not born with a platinum, you know, spoon in their mouth. These are the problems we go through. 
like the AC breaking down in the middle of a fucking heat wave. That's like Murphy's Law. Whatever will go wrong or can go wrong will go wrong. And that's where we're at. But anyway, let's get to the uh, news article for today. Because that's what you guys are here about. You're not here to hear uh, about uh, how the Moonraker is about to die uh, with uh, internal home temperatures of over 100 degrees. You don't get no shit about that. That's uh, Those are the breaks, buddy. Those are the breaks. The article for today is U.S. Space Command will launch this month ahead of Trump's Space Force. Wow. Can you, can you guys hear that, fan? Yeah, so exactly. That's what's happening this month. Uh, officially, August 29th, the U.S. Space Command will be a real thingamabob. Yeah, it's going to be real. It's going to be serving up things like the Space Force. Yeah. It's a real thing. And a lot of you guys were thinking, oh, Trump, he's crazy. I mean, uh, this fucking guy from New York, you know, he wants to be uh, touching people. He wants to be grabbing them, grabbing people, girlies. And, you know, he wants to be all sexist and stuff. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's always tweeting or whatever. The guy just started Space Command, and now he is launching Space Force. Whether you like the guy or not, he he's doing stuff. He is making stuff happen. And that's the part that a lot of people can't get over. Yeah. Yeah, hello, Space Force. It's going to be the official thing. And there is a meeting that was held back uh, last Tuesday of the National Space Council, and VP Mike Pence actually said that the Pentagon officials announced that a key step in creating the newest branch of the military would happen next week. You guys are sleeping on this. A lot of people, are, you know, they don't take him seriously. They don't take Trump seriously. They think he's a big clown. He's a big fuck up. But he just created a branch of the U.S. military that's going to include space travel. Right? The U.S. Space Command, and then shortly after that, the Space Force. John Raymond, who is the uh, an Air Force general, has actually been selected to be confirmed by the Senate as the first leader of the U.S. Space Command. This stuff is really happening. We might sit around and look about and look at things like Maddie. Maddie wants to, you know. Cuckoo Naturu run. You know, he wants to bring his anime fantasies into real life by saying, let's uh, outrun bullets at Area 51. But yet your government is creating a space force. It's creating a military force to take to space. So while Maddie is over there with Limp Biscuit rubbing each other, in the middle of the uh, Nevada desert, Trump is basically rubbing his rockets to shoot them into space. Why is it these two worlds don't collide? Why is it they always have to be separate? It doesn't matter who the fuck is the president when it comes to this because, guess what? No other president has had the cojones to create a Space Command, and a Space Force. And that is the official word, because the Space Command will start August 29th, whether the fuck you like it or not. Whether you're going to be getting into your big girl panties and running to Nevada to have a show with Limp Biscuit or run around getting a high, it doesn't matter. Because by the time your happy ass makes it in September... To Nevada, the Space Force will be in full force. It's going to be a real thing. And here is where the warning that Bob Lazar gave fits in. 
Bob Lazar was there at Area 51 at a time where they were using private sector companies to try to figure out what the hell they had there. And that's what he noticed. But at the same time, Bob Lazar today, 2019, says, you've got to be plumb, dumb, fucking stupid in the head if you think that after decades of people theorizing, putting conspiracy theories behind the fact that maybe there is alien artifacts there, that if you really think today, 2019, that that shit's still there, you're fucked up in the head. The other thing is people need to put themselves in the shoes of the, the folks they're trying to raid. Yeah, if I was hiding 30, 40 years ago alien artifacts, guess what? I would move that shit the moment that I have an inkling, as Big O would say, that people are thinking that the shit's still there. You move it. You move it somewhere else. And some people say ended up in Ohio. Some people say it ended up offshore somewhere. Ended up in Texas. It doesn't fucking matter at this point. That's why it's a legacy incident. Because the fuckers, when it happened, did not come out and do something about it. Then he asked the questions that needed to be asked when it happened. So now it becomes a legacy incident. Now we imagine what the fuck is going on. We have all these thoughts that we're going to run like Naturo. Uh, Nataru, what the fuck his name is, we're going to dodge a bunch of bullets from the camo dudes, and we're actually going to get to the gate, Area 51, and it's going to open like the pearly gates of heaven. And all the ETs are going to flood out, thanking us for intervening because they were captured and being tortured. Sorry. I don't think it's going to happen that way. In fact, I don't think anyone's going to leave Rachel, Nevada. Yeah, the little alien inn, it's going to be the only place that people are going to gather during that time frame. Nobody's going to even attempt to get to Area 51. I guarantee you, anyone that does, it's fucked. In so many ways. Not just by Mother Nature, because it's a fucking desert. You don't have gas stations. like I mean, really, guys, you don't have miles of road up to the front gate where you can stop at a QT or a convenience store to stop and get gas, get yourself some water and a cold, ice cold beverage. That's not the way it fucking is. So when those three quote unquote million people get there, not a fucking one of them has the cojones to actually go Miles and miles of desert, sweating their balls off, with no, uh, no, nothing else but water, even even last that long, barely have enough gas to even try to make it to the front gate, and even then, fuckers won't even make it. You will not, because there will be an entire government worth of military personnel telling you that probably is not a good idea. And do you really think that after all these years that uh, you get to go off-road and not be caught? Come on. I mean, I, this is just a bunch of silly shit is all it is. But let me get back to, <laughs> to what I was talking about. So August 29th, the Space Command will be in force. Shortly after that is the Space Force for you fuckers who did not believe that Trump would be able to do it. Sorry, but it is what it is. I don't pick sides when it comes to Democrats... When it comes to Republicans or independents, I don't pick sides. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this shit is happening right under your noses. And we're worried about some anime shit going on in uh, Rachel, Nevada. Which story is more important? The story for the moment, which will turn into a yearly event of people getting high? Or is it the fact that uh, the folks in the United States... Uh, have a natural space force that maybe we will see the patents that were released by the U.S. Air Force regarding what we have come to know over the years that TR-3B will come to fruition. That the space force will use that craft in public eventually 
and then all the conspiracy theories will come true. Then you can jump into your hot tub, grab yourself a few liquors, and enjoy the fact that you were correct. It's very well possible. It is very well possible. The other thing you have to know is that uh, last month France announced that it was also creating its own space force. And the Trump administration currently is uh, citing the fact that there are threats coming from China and Russia as part of the, I don't know, the wherewithal or the reasoning or the, the, you know, the, the stuff to back up the idea that we need a space force because China and Russia are, are fucking around in space and we need to stop that. Funny, the two communist countries are the ones that are causing other problems. Not the other ones who launch shit into space and drop a bunch of fucking uh, 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 microorganisms on the moon. Oh, they ain't doing shit, right? They're not uh, infecting the moon with a bunch of shit that shouldn't have been there. No, it's the communist ones. Those are the ones that are doing it because China has a bunch of badass products because they're fucking us up with their shitty ass products. I guess that's the way to do it. You go after the communists and you get the buy-in from people. So the U.S. Air Force, uh, would, uh, Space Force, will become the sixth armed service and they'll be joining the Air Force, Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and Coast Guard. Hey, listen, I have nothing but pride in the fact that there is a Space Force uh, being created. Nothing but pride with the fact that we're going to have an armed force of the United States in space. Nothing but pride for the people that do that. That is fantabulous. The problem is, are we going to have the same as bullshit that we have on the uh, planet? Are you saying that we're going to have territory wars in space? How the fuck is that going to work? If freaking Russia, China, India, and all these other countries are shooting shut, uh, shit into space, uh, Japan... Who the fuck is going to own space? Because with something like Space Force, it sounds like we are going to smack those bitches around and take over space. If that's the case, we need to work on some serious TR-3B firepower. But I'm not the one to say anything because I'm not in government. I'm not in politics. I'm just here to talk about shit. And that's what I do. I'm a shit talker. Pretty and simple. Uh, By the way, if you want to look at the... The article, the article uh, link, as always, it is in the podcast notes. It is by USA Today again for the second day in a row. And you should check it out. There's more information in there. Things you should probably keep in mind as the Space Force come together. In the meantime, the world's coming to an end. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play a song that talks about the same ass thing. Ciao.
around the world.